My name is Zoe, I'm 14 years old, and I would like to share with you a few of the concerns of girls and feminine presenting people today. Society is hurting girls and making them hurt themselves because of how they're viewed. They see us as clay that they can mold to their desires in trying to change who we are as a person. Women of different backgrounds who experience almost different versions of sexism. As far as social media goes, there's a lot of negativity and like hate. We all have depression, anxiety, thoughts of suicide, cutting. It's true. Like, it's, it's hard to access mental health care. It's not only a specific, you know, state that's having this problem, but it is a worldwide issue. There's a lot of things that I want to say, and not many people who will actually listen to them. Yeah, this is our website. This is the kind of the content we do. And then they also all have an article and stuff. Hi, my name is Alina Davila. My name is Elena. Hi, I'm Julia. My name is Melly. My name is Molly. My name is Lauren Starkey. My name is Fatu, and I'm a part of the Creator Studio. My name is Winter, and I'm a part of the Creator Studio for Zive. Zive is a media and talent incubator, fostering the unique potential of Gen Z creators and entrepreneurs through our content hub, membership community, masterclasses, and mentorship. Being a part of Zive means being in a group of people who can express their creativity in a way that reflects our own individuality. Creating a safe and inclusive community. Getting to be a part of something that is really helping out teen girls and just making an impact. I started when I was about four or five years old and I would just make little cute black history videos for younger kids. And that's when I realized that I could use my voice to really make a difference. Our mission is really to expand the amount of support and access to education and resources for teens who are struggling with eating disorders. We were not having, you know, this intentional inclusion of black stories and of diverse stories within our curriculums. And if we don't give kids the opportunity to see themselves, they may never want to learn any more about themselves or other people. People need to understand that black girls need dolls that reflect their image too. Learning all of the different businesses that the teen girls have started. I love knowing that there's people out there who are working really, really hard to push our world forward. Girls uplifting each other and listening to each other and building off of each other and helping each other. We want you to feel safe and welcome in your own voice. Seeing other people go through the same thing as you, like, oh my gosh, it's not just me. You have to look a certain way. And it's like, no, like, None of that matters anymore. Like, we don't care. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and there are always going to be people that you can talk to, always going to be people that you can lean on, always going to be people that you can watch, just to know that you're not alone and to know that you have a place to come to and a place to be where you can feel positive about yourself. We have all these problems, but no one cares to do something about them. It's just like, it is what it is. But these girls are like, no, I'm going to change the is. <laughs> all of these girls that can really hear the stories and really see themselves and be inspired and motivated. I just get to see that beginning of something beautiful really flourishing and it's going to be great. Teen friendly platform that's just made for us. I have a story. 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 I have a story.